So these are what are called IBC totes. They're meant for being like transport or holding liquids. It's food safe. We hold the sap in there after people get them from the buckets outside. And then we pump it through a food safe silicone line. Pumps up here, goes up into that little tiny tank up there, and it fills up. So what happens is sap flows in from this tank. There's bigger totes outside that are pumped in. So this is all gravity fed. So it goes through here, through this valve, and if you look in here, there's a float. So when the sap level gets too shallow, it fills up. And when it gets really high, it seals it tight. So it's automatic. So the same thing over here. So the sap gets boiled up to like the hot, the temperature of boiling water in this tank. So it's at 1% sugar. What happens then is it goes into this pipe over here and into this box. This also has a regulator that you can take a look in here. So this boiling hot sap, maybe at one or two percent sugar, it enters this pan. Now this is called the syrup pan. So what happens here is it boils even more and more, and it goes from uh, two percent to syrup uh, consistency of sugar. So it gets a really high concentration, gets kind of viscous and sticky. And the only way to really measure that is to measure off this uh, thermometer on the side. It has to like get up to like a certain temperature there. It's gonna roll around once and then it'll get to there and then that's when you know you have to take the syrup off. So it comes off this side. Sugar concentrates just like from least to most and this is actually where you take off the syrup from. You pour it into here, you catch it in like a beaker, a pot, something like that. And you pour it through here, it strains out and filters it and then it keeps it maintained at 219 degrees. 